What if elections were fun? What if voting was something you do in connection with performance and art and creativity and celebration? It provides just that spark where then community members all across the country take the idea and make it their own and make it true to them and their community. And that's when we see participation increase. And that's when we see joy increase. And that's when we see power increase. The great thing about the Joy of Voting is how these projects are so specific to the communities where they are, that they really come from the community and they're for the community. The Joy Factor, I think, is, you know, just a different level. They can bring another group of people into the fold to get involved in the political process and, and share their voice. Politics is not just for the professionals who are consultants and pollsters and money people, but this is for us everyday citizens just to come back out there and play. The joy of voting to me is being a part of something larger than myself. You know, be a part of our democracy and make sure that what's happening benefits us. Just sort of want to have their voices heard. Yeah. yeah. What their opinions are, what's, what's affecting them and what we can do to make it better for us and those who come after us. People, you know, they're constantly looking for entertainment and they're staying home. They need to realize that if they want to make real change in their city, that they should come out and we can have some fun doing that too. The success for us was to see more people show up at these events and now as a result of these projects, the stocks of social capital in these cities is higher. When we have events that get at a deeper sense of community and of connection and of fun, that's what brings people into the process. And then we can have these discussions about the real very serious issues facing our communities and states and country. But where that starts is with a sense of joy and a sense of openness.